Background and Introduction to Health Informatics Ethics. This video is designed to accompany the chapter on Health Informatics Ethics in the textbook Health Informatics Practical Guide for Healthcare and Information Technology Professionals. As the name implies, Health Informatics Ethics combines information from medicine, informatics, and ethics. Much of this textbook deals with the area that is formed by a combination of medicine and informatics. This chapter focuses on the area formed by a combination of medicine and ethics and informatics and ethics. The area formed by medicine and ethics has a very long history, stemming from the ancient Greek Hippocratic Oath. The Hippocratic Oath contains statements that we would easily recognize today as dealing with ethical issues in medicine. In the modern era, the most well-known code of ethics is the Nuremberg Code. This was developed at the Nuremberg Trials in response to the Nazi medical experiments conducted before and during World War II in Nazi-occupied Europe. Because the Nuremberg Code was written in response to medical experiments, it focuses on the rights of experimental subjects. Since the Nuremberg Code, several other medical ethical codes have been developed. Today, the most commonly referenced medical ethics code is the World Medical Association's Declaration of Helsinki last updated in 2008. The Declaration of Helsinki is far broader than the Nuremberg Code and also covers areas of privacy and confidentiality of personal information of research subjects. As one would expect, because informatics is a relatively new field of study, the area formed by informatics and ethics has a shorter history. Issues of ethics were raised as computers developed in the latter half of the 20th century. In 1997, Severson introduced four principles of information ethics. These were respect for intellectual property, respect for privacy, fair representation, and non-maleficence, or doing no harm. As computers have developed further, codes of ethics for professional organizations have also evolved. Two examples are the Association for Computer Machinery's Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct and the Canadian Information Processing Society's Code of Ethics and Professional Conduct. These codes also refer directly to honoring the rights of the individual respecting privacy and confidentiality, and doing no harm. In the center of this diagram, then, we find health informatics ethics, and the most pertinent ethical code is the International Medical Informatics Association's Code of Ethics for Health Information Professionals. The issues discussed thus far form the background to the chapter on health informatics ethics. The chapter also discusses other pertinent issues, such as the complexities raised by unethical medical practices in the United States and other countries, the difficult relationship between ethics, laws, culture and society, practical informatics ethics issues facing health professionals every day. These include informed consent in the electronic age, data protection, and electronic subject protection. The chapter also covers practical informatics ethics issues facing medical students, such as plagiarism, the use of paper mills for assignments, 
the manipulation of electronic files, recording of lectures and other class activities, accessing documents illegally. These and other issues will make up the chapter on health informatics ethics. We trust that you will find the material interesting, will learn a great deal, and will be able to apply the principles of medical informatics ethics in your careers.